Hello, Nathan here with the ebook reader blog. So we got the third generation Kindle Oasis for this review. So the big story with it is Amazon finally added a warm front light to a Kindle. So you can kind of blend the lights now and get it just how you like it. Kind of easier for night reading. So other than that, it's pretty much exactly the same as the previous Kindle Oasis. You know, you still got the same design. It's got the page buttons on one side of the screen uh, with that rotation sensor. Uh, so you can flip the screen over uh, to the other hand if you want. Um, it's got that unique design where it's very thin on one side and it's got like the thicker edge there where you grip it. Uh, you can kind of wrap your fingers around that uh, contoured edge if you want. I kind of just find it more comfortable just to like let my fingers go flat. Um, so the only problem with the wider design, of course, is it doesn't quite fit in your pockets as well. But I do like having the page buttons. Uh, the uh, new front light is definitely a plus. Uh, so here's a look at the back. Like I said, it's got that contour and it's got the aluminum back. There's also a gold version. They did remove the magnets, though, from the back contoured edge. So the original half covers for the Oasis 2 do not work with this model. Uh, here it is next to the Paperwhite board just to get an idea of the size difference. Uh, so it's quite a bit wider with that uh, page buttons on the side, but it's not any taller. It does have the larger 7-point inch screen versus the Paperwhite 6-inch screen. Of course, uh, with the adjustable front light color, that makes the biggest difference. So let's talk about it a little more. Uh, so you can open up the uh, settings menu up here and adjust your brightness. Uh, it also has auto brightness if you want to go to the auto setting. Uh, and then here you can blend the warmth setting to whatever level you would like. You can have it darker if you want, or you can just have a little bit of the warmth added to the cool. Uh, so you can just kind of control your front light color, so it's definitely a plus. I do like it. Other companies have been doing this for years with their e-readers, so it's nice to see Amazon finally add it to their model as well. The front lighting is very even on the uh, Kindle Oasis. In fact, it's probably the best front light I've seen thus far. Uh, while we're at it here, if you have an image uh, in your uh, ebook here, you can just tap on it. You can zoom in on the image to see a larger view. You can also do the pinching gesture uh, to increase the size. So uh, back to the front light. Uh, it also has uh, it also has the uh, schedule. So if you wanted to set the schedule to adjust uh, depending on the uh, time of day, it will do that. You can also set sort of like a manual schedule. So it'll trigger like a, when you set the time for it to trigger on. When using the automatic setting, it will use your location to determine the time. Um, down here, you can preview sort of like what the uh, how much warmth you want it to add. So you don't have to have full orange if you don't want. You just want to add a little bit of a uh, little bit of subtle warmth to the uh, cool color than you can. Um, so another thing that the Oasis uh, introduced with the last model is the inverted text mode. So they still have that obviously. Uh, as far as software goes, this is identical to the Oasis 2, so there's really not anything new to talk about other than the uh, front light. There's Bluetooth support. Voice view enabled. Voice view screen reader. Home button. You can use the Bluetooth to uh, use the screen reader or listen to audiobooks. So the screen reader is like text to speech, but you have to navigate all weird. Double tap to select. Because it's meant to be an accessibility feature, so you have to like uh, scroll through all the selections Home. instead of just Back. selecting them. Button. Quick action. Unavailable. Store. Search. Button, menu, button, home. But it does work I as a text-to-speech feature. Uh, once you get the book open, actually it's easier to just turn on the Bluetooth once Chapter you have the book open. One, one Harry Dunning graduated with flying colors. I went to the little GD ceremony in the LA chess gym at his invitation. He really had no one else, and I was happy to do it. After the benediction, spoken by Father Ben. So that was just a quick demo of the quasi-text-to-speech feature using the screen reader. Also has, like I said, audible support. So you can have your audiobooks on here and it'll have the audio player. So people ask about switching back between reading and listening. So it doesn't have the immersion reading where you can listen and have it uh, read at the same time, but you can uh, switch back and forth. Uh, in here you have the option to set the uh, page buttons forward and back, uh, top and bottom, whichever one you want. Another uh, setting with the Oasis is the ability to uh, use large screen mode. So it kind of increases some of the interface elements. Let's go ahead and talk about some of the more, uh, some of the software features more. We've got um, you know, you got your quick settings menu at the top to adjust your uh, brightness and all that, but then you got the main settings menu as well. And then there's like this list of options you have for your book. You got like the x ray feature, word wise, vocabulary builder. So Kindles definitely have a lot of features as far as the reading goes. Uh, you also got a number of customizing options in here. So you got all these uh, included fonts preloaded on here. You can also uh, add your own fonts to a custom folder and then use whatever font type you would like. You can also uh, adjust the page settings in here. So they have the same page settings forever on Kindles. You've got the, uh, you know, the usual three spacing and margin settings. You do have the option to rotate to landscape mode on, uh, and there's all uh, like 
to alignment options and the theme setting. So they had this a while back, the themes, you can have all these different uh, settings set up if you wanna have different reading settings for different conditions here. So like if we save our current settings, we'll create a new theme. You can override that theme. You can create additional ones and just switch to them on the fly instead of having to go in here and change everything. So like I said, you can add your own fonts in here, switch these up. Uh, it will work with the uh, boldness uh, adjuster as well. So you got the 14 font sizes, uh, five boldness settings, um, so definitely been in some improvement over the years on the uh, Kindle line as far as your customizing options go, but they could still add some more font sizes. So, you know, you got all the usual Kindle features. You got the dictionary lookup. Um, you got the Wikipedia option. You can change your dictionaries. You got the Wikipedia window over here. You can look up stuff on uh, Wikipedia if you're connected to the internet. You've also got the translation option with Kindle, so you can translate to a number of uh, different languages you got search of course so amazon stuff they index everything that's on your kindle so sometimes people think their kindle has bad battery life at first but it's just indexing everything you put on it so uh, makes searching a lot faster works a lot better than some other devices uh, when you're using search you can go back and forth between your list by hitting the back button and any time you navigate on your kindle you can go back to the previous page by hitting the back button uh, if you just hold and drag it'll add highlights kindles definitely have a smooth highlighting feature. It'll automatically add it. You can undo that. Um, you can also add text notes to your highlights using an on-screen keyboard. Then all of this stuff uh, with Kindles is exportable. So you just go into your notes section here. So there are different options. It has like a text file on your device. You can use uh, the web browser online to get your notes, or you can use this option here to send your notes to email. So you got a lot of options as far as getting your notes and highlights off of your Kindles. Uh, you can go in here, re-edit your stuff as well. You can do that online as well. You don't have to use your Kindle. Um, you got your table of contents over here. So a number of ways to navigate. If you just swipe up from the bottom of the screen, it'll open up this window here where you can switch between uh, multi-page view. Uh, you can jump between the chapters easily this way, sort of scan through your book a little bit easier uh, than just trying to look at one page at a time. So like then these buttons right here, scan through chapters. So uh, definitely some nice navigation options on the Kindle to help kind of give you a little bit more of a paper book feel, being able to find different parts of your book. So like I mentioned earlier, you've got landscape mode on Kindle e-readers here. Everything will just be sort of switched over uh, to the different view, but it only works like in your ebook mode. It doesn't like actually rotate the interface. If you go back to the home screen, it'll be in portrait mode. So uh, landscape works well for stuff like this. When you have PDFs, uh, you can fit more content on the screen. You got the pinch zooming. You can just uh, use the page button to scroll down the page. Um, and then on the home screen here, this is the default home screen. You can scroll through it and it'll go to your library view. Uh, you can set it, like I said earlier, you can just set it to go to this automatically if you want to um, and then bypass that uh, initial part. You can also use the page buttons here. It'll scroll through it as well. Um, so you got the option to hide that if you want to just view your books. Uh, you got the different views. You got the different sorting options. Uh, you got list view. You've got some, they added some new filters recently with the unread and red filters. So this is only going to be showing the downloaded. See over here on the left, it'll show your downloaded or all of your books. You got to select all to show everything. Um, then you got, like I said, the list view. You can view it as a list. Uh, if you don't want to view the covers, you can see more content on your screen. Uh, long press on an item, you get some more options. You can add stuff to collections. Um, you can use uh, Goodreads. So a quick look at a comic. There's really not a lot of difference between the six inch and the seven inch screen as I showed in the Paperwhite comparison review with this. Uh, but there is a little bit of a advantage with having a larger screen with different types of content like PDFs and uh, comics like this. But there's, like I said, not a huge difference with the screen uh, being seven inches versus six inches. The main thing is, you know, the Kindle Oasis just has the more premium design. You got the page buttons. Um, it's waterproof, of course. It is a bit faster overall. Um, and then I just sort of like the way the text lays out on the seven inch screen better than the six inch screen. So, I mean, it's just kind of personal preference in that regard. Uh, the front light's definitely an advantage on the Oasis being able to mix in a little bit of the uh, warm color if you would like. Um, so not really much has changed from the second gen Oasis as shown on the left. I mean, if you just seen them without the front light on, you would not be able to tell them apart. They're virtually identical. Otherwise, uh, just a couple of minor changes here and there. But uh, overall, still the same Kindle Oasis, just uh, with the front light now that uh, has the warm option. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video review. Thank you guys for watching. Check out theebookreader.com for more reviews and more information. Thanks. Bye.